Then he says, the issue of humility and humbleness is addressed. Why? My brothers and sisters, in this world, when we have got things slightly, the way we want it, sometimes we become arrogant. Sometimes, you know, you have a person, for example, very wealthy. If he's wealthy and he's arrogant, he needs to know that there are people who have more wealth, but they are humble. Allahu Akbar. If a person has good looks and they are arrogant because they think they are beautiful, you know, there are people who have better looks, but they are humble. So, this world is a competition. Competition in the sense to do good. Fastabiqul khayrat. Allah says, compete with one another when it comes to doing good. So, if you think you are hot, there is someone hotter than you, but more humble. Wow. We've worded it lightly. Wording of the youth. If you think you're a big deal, there is someone who is a real big deal, but they are more humble than you are. Subhanallah, down to earth, you won't even know. Someone sitting with you and you ask him, sorry sir, and he won't even tell you who he is. Tomorrow you find out this was the CEO of a huge company. Wow, he was sitting right next to me. I can't even believe it. Why? Because he's humble. And me, I've got five real in my pocket and I walk around here. <laughs> I'm the boss. What? what is that? Allahu Akbar. So, so this is why Allah says here, وَلَا تُصَعِّرْ خَدَّكَ لِلنَّاسِ وَلَا تَمْشِ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَرَحَا Never turn your cheek away from the people in this arrogance. Me. I don't know if, if I did it right, but I... I <laughs> <laughs> Allah forgive us. Really, I'm just showing you. To say that this is what sometimes people do. They really turn their heads. Allah says, don't do that. Don't give your cheek to the people to say, you know, I'm bigger than you, better than you. No. The only time you will be better is when you get your book on the right hand on the day of judgment. Then you can say, wow. Allahu Akbar. Allah says it in the Quran. Those who are given their books in the right hand, they will have the right to say and they will utter the words, Oh, read this book of mine. Wow, I'm so happy. On this day, I am the happiest. I have this happiness given by Allah that I got my book on the right hand. May Allah grant it to all of us. That is the day. But before that, we are nobodies. We are nothing. Really, we are nothing. The only difference is taqwa. This is why the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, he clearly says, لا فضل لعربي على عجمي ولا لعجمي على عربي ولا لأبيض على أسود and so on and so on. And he says, إلا بالتقوى. There is no virtue of an Arab over a non-Arab and vice versa. Or a black over a white and vice versa. Except by piety. You are close to Allah, you are higher. And the closer you are to Allah, the more humble you will be. It's a sign, it's a sign. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us humbleness and humility. May He make us people who do not turn away from people just because of a little bit that Allah has given us. And the worst is He who doesn't have anything. He has nothing. But still He is arrogant. Wow. That's the worst. Neither are you intelligent. You know, some people, they think they are intelligent. And this we need to say it because when the young people are sharp, sometimes we haven't advised them. Some of our children are very clever. But at school, they make like they are it. They make like they are it, you know. They don't listen to the others. They make like they are a step above. We as parents need to make them, you know, calm them down. To say, listen, you are coming out first in your class. Be humble. Talk to the others properly. You know, be good. So many people have come out first in class, but they found it hard to find a job. Do you know that? Wallahi. I know of people who, bec who became top doctors, medical field, and yet they took years to find an appropriate job. Allahu Akbar. Good, good people. So this shows that, you know what? It doesn't mean you came first in class so you are above the rest. No! May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors, grant us ease and goodness. We need to be humble and we need to be down to earth. And don't walk on this earth with pride, with arrogance. Tread properly. So people say, look at that guy. He's so arrogant, he's driving a Lamborghini. No! Arrogance is not connected to the type of car you are driving. It is connected to your attitude. Even if you are driving a Corolla like mine, and you have an attitude, you are arrogant. And if you are driving a Bugatti, I'm sure Qataris would know what that is. But your attitude is humble. You are not proud. 
You can be living in a palace and you can be the most humble person because you respect those who work for you, you greet people, you have a humanitarian feeling for others. That is humbleness. You treat people with respect. That's what humbleness is. Treat people with respect. That is Islam. And that is taught in the Quran. That is humbleness. So what we need to know, how much wealth you have and what type of house or car you have or clothing you have is not arrogance. Arrogance is described in the hadith of Rasulullah as rejection of the truth and despising people. Two things. The Prophet says, when you mock at people and you don't respect them, it means you're arrogant. And when you reject the truth, when it comes to you, it means you're arrogant. Subhanallah. Because the Sahaba radiallahu anhum asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he says لا يدخل الجنة من كان في قلبه مثقال حبة من خردل من كبر He says a person who has in his heart even the weight of a mustard seed of pride will not enter paradise. So the Sahaba radiallahu anhum were worried. They said, O Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we like our clothes to be neat and everything you know our conveyance to be good and so on. He said that's not the pride we are speaking about. The pride we are speaking about is when you reject the truth and when you despise people. Two things. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to respect one another as human beings and at the same time may he keep us humble.